of the jungles and he's fierce. He's a terrible beast. Strong. He's the king of the jungles. And we have another lion in the Bible. Different from the king of the jungles. His name is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And you and I are of the tribe of the lion of Judah. And Judah means praise. It means that we have a lion of the tribe of praise. And anytime we praise him, irrespective of our circumstances, we are activating the lion of the tribe of praise. We are activating the lion of our tribe. So right now, give him praise and let our lion roar. Let a lion of the tribe of praise roar in the name of Jesus. Hear me. It's dangerous not to belong. It don't matter how intelligent, brilliant, skillful, and anointed and gifted that you might be, whoever you are. If you don't belong to a tribe, if you don't belong to a tribe, you don't stand a chance with the adversary. The strongest man that ever lived by the name of Samson, he was taken out by a lady by the name of Delilah, a hired assassin. He was stronger than her, anointed than her, better than her, but he was weak because he depended on his strength. I was said, by strength shall no man prevail. And he died all alone with his enemies because he was a loner. Please don't be a loner. If you want to last and you want to go far in this life, go with those who knows something you don't know. Hang with people more anointed than you. Stay with people. Hang with people better than you. You know, the other day when the angel of the Lord came to Mary and said that you're going to conceive. You're going to bear a child. His name shall be called Jesus, Emmanuel. He'll bring deliverance to his people. And he said, your cousin Elizabeth, who is called barren, is already six months pregnant. And he said, when you get pregnant, when your pregnancy begins, go hang with her because she's more pregnant than you. She can help you. She can guide you to better understand and appreciate the process. Somebody say process. I have issue with people who don't go through process and I've never been through process and I self-proclaim people. A man of God came to see me the other day. Very, very gifted, very anointed, very sharp in the prophetic. And uh, he wanted to have a relationship with me. And I said, tell me about you. Who are you? Where did you come from? And when he was talking to me, he's, he self-proclaimed. Nobody ever laid hands on him. I said, how did you get baptized in the Holy Spirit? Who baptized you in water? No one baptized him in water. He baptized himself. He baptized himself in water. Holy Ghost baptized. And I said, now, these giftings you are operating in, when did it begin? He said he was born with the gifts. I said, oh, I see, interesting. No one operates in any of the nine gifts of the Spirit, whether the vocal gifts, revelational gifts, or power gifts, without the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It don't happen. The gifts that say something, prophecy, tongues, and interpretation of tongues. The revelational gifts, the gifts that reveal something, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, descending of spirit, and the power gifts, the gifts that do something. The gift of workings of miracles, the gift of healings, and the gift of faith. This is a particular faith. It's a supernatural infusion of God capabilities that is, that is embedded in your spirit and gives you the audacity like Joshua to stop the sun and the moon. That kind of faith. 
It's not the faith that comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That is a supernatural impartation of the God kind of faith that is put inside of you to do things out of the ordinary where your humanity stands to do things that only Adonai can do. All of those gifts, ladies and gentlemen, comes to the baptism of the Spirit. And I asked him, I said, at whose feet did you study? And of which of the tribe of Israel do you belong to? Who mentored you? Who fathered you? Tell me the process you went through to come to where you are. And when I heard his background, his history, his story, he had no point of reference. No one pointed a finger at him. He didn't steady at anybody's feet. And I said, you are a very dangerous person. And those following you are lost. Because you have no point of reference. You haven't been through process. Gold is only valuable and gold because it's gone through, it went through fire. Your value has everything to do with the process you went through in life. The Bible said that I have something against this woman called Jezebel because she's self-appointed prophetess. When you proclaim yourself to be anything in life and in ministry and it wasn't conferred upon you, you are trouble. You are trouble. Even presidents of nations, they have to swear an oath and a vow is made and the chief justice is the one that leads them into the office to take an oath and to appoint them president of a country. Hear me, you can never have authority in the ministry and in life if you have never been under authority. You have no right to command anybody if you haven't been commanded. You can't lead unless you've been led. You, you can't mentor unless you've been mentored. You can't father unless you've been fathered. And for those of you who follow gifts and you follow people who you don't even know their spiritual history, where they came from, even Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Of which of the tribe did you come from? Tell me. Paul said, I am from the tribe of Benjamin.